Hello my friends, welcome back to another episode of MTD CNC North America. Today, I have the great pleasure to share with you some amazing automated cells here at DRG with my buddy Dave. And we're gonna learn a little bit more about what the heck he's doing, how incredible it is, and why I would consider this the future of global manufacturing when it comes to something like the gun industry. So Dave, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Thanks for coming out and seeing the craziness that we've built over the last four or five years. Yeah, I absolutely appreciate you having me in. I know that you guys have a lot of secrets here. You're really doing, you know, making parts in a way that's outside of the box thinking that not a lot of people are doing right now. So we've changed our process as our volume has grown. We started one way, we started running them off, you know, a triple turret lathe. We ran them that way, we did this, we did that. We changed our carrier process and our volume grew, as you'll see in another cell later. And we really figured out that lathes should be lathes and mills should be lit mills. So by splitting the two processes between that and truly allowing each machine to excel at what they're good at, we're able to run really robotic, automated, awesome cells. And yes, you are. You absolutely are. These cells I'm looking at, these parts I'm looking at, you say, you know, let lays be lays and mills be mills. We're looking at a piece here that's done really nice finish, you know, not incredibly detailed work, but needs to be precise and yep. needs to be perfect. So let the lathe do that work. Then we pop it into this automated cell where we're getting pieces here that come off the mills and we're looking at robots that sometimes high five each other, right? Occasionally, <laughs> sometimes, unfortunately, it's, we're new to it this year with the two robots on one rail. We're trying to learn, you know, occasionally they, they kiss. So Dave, when we're looking at all of these parts in here, I can only imagine the frustration that somebody must have had at one time loading and unloading a single part at a time or even using some sort of vice fixture with multiple yeah. pieces. So our cell manager now used to be our operator running the robo drills manually. And he was like, you're doing what? It's like, we're gonna put robots on him. He's like, do I still have a job? It's like, yeah, you have a better job now. You gotta operate and learn a cell. We're gonna teach you the more skills to compete in the future of manufacturing globally and when stuff's coming back to the USA from China and everywhere. Yeah. We have to be smarter. We shouldn't have six machines in this cell that we have behind us and six people in front of them. We'll never compete. So he went from hand loading five or six machines at the time to being able to manage and learn robots, learn the controls, learn how a robot pendant works, work with an HMI, understand tool life, understand bowl feeders, and understand the craziness that goes into a cell that allows something like this to operate 24-7, 365. Wow. We run this cell 70 hours a week unattended, making no bad parts. That's, that's an incredible story, and you're right. Why do we want to do the monotonous things that a robot can do if no one's losing their job? Then it's taking away the mundane, right? We don't want to leave work every day going, ah, well, that was, that was boring. We want to learn. We want to go home feeling fulfilled. Correct. So the shop now has about seven robots in it, and we've been hiring more people as our volume grows, obviously, right? Right. Our old way of manufacturing, we're doing about 16,000 bolts a month. This cell's producing about 40,000 volts a month. So the dichotomy there, we need the help to get the parts through, to get them through tumbling, to get them through deburring, to get them through you know, QC and inspection. We had to look at more automated ways. We're inspecting them on a vision gauge custom cell so that we can do it quick enough. We're building Pokio gauges. We're looking at different concepts. We run tool detection from Bloom in every one of the robo drills so that we give up a little cycle time, but we never make a bad part twice. Right. So the concept and the theory behind the way we've designed and created the cells is how do you run 70 hours a week unattended without making bad parts? Because all of us can order a dumpster and fill it up with scrap. How do you not do that? And I think for the most part, what you just said and what I've seen here, that's exactly what you're doing. And you touched on this a little bit when you said a lot of people are reshoring and we don't want one man, one machine, one man, one machine. This is how we compete and this is how we make good parts day in and day out, right? Correct. We have to change our process. We have to change our thought process. 
one of the best things that happened to me was my grandpa and my dad never owned a machine shop, right? I didn't know what I didn't know. Right. I was able to be ballsy and to be bold and to take big visions and be like, what do you mean we can't do it this way? Why not? Don't tell me why we can't. Let's figure out how we do it, right? So with the partnership with Methods, this is our last cell we built them. It just came online earlier this year. We built a cell a year with Methods. So every year we've picked a part in the gun industry that's a pain. We started with a carrier, then we started with a gas key, then we went to the bolt, you know, bolt manufacturing, then we did barrels, and now we're doing every part that gun manufacturers have trouble manufacturing and getting, and we've built custom automated cells for them. And we all know there's a shortage of labor in our industry at the moment, so things like this, being precise and efficient, not taking a cigarette break, it's incredible. But I want to touch on something as well that you mentioned, and then I want to move on to how great Methods has been to you as well, which is there's so many people out there right now, and you guys know this that are watching, we spend a lot of time here at MTD helping educate the world on processes like this because it's the future of manufacturing. We spend a lot of time, Dave, unlearning, relearning, relearning again. You know, so we're, we're trying to break that mindset. And you mentioned my dad, my grandfather, they weren't in this industry. You come in with no blinders, with no set way of working. And I can see around me the incredible products that you're making and the way that you're going about doing it. But this has to also take a lot of work and a lot of teamwork. And I know Methods has been really good to you here in the Chicago area. Methods has been a phenomenal partner, right? We've gone to them and we said, listen, if it's a FANUC Robo Drill with a FANUC DDR, with a FANUC robot, with a FANUC control, I don't have to worry about the integrators arguing with the machine builder and the OEM and the integrator arguing back and forth. Who's changing the ladder? Who's worrying about this? I can't get the robot to talk to that. It's all from FANUC. So that took a lot of the finger pointing and worries away, right? Right. Methods comes out and they have their cookie cutter cells. They have their job shop cells. They have their two robo drills with a robot in the middle. We'll change out the in feed and we'll get some grippers kind of stuff. They're ahead of the other guys just by knowing that automation is their core. You know, when you talk to, when you look at other machine tool builders and machine tool sales guys in the industry, everybody but Methods goes, well, we got to talk to our integrator. Right. Methods is the integrator. So building, over the last four or five years, we've built five cells. We've done one a year. And we've learned some things. This is the final cell, and I like it the best, but there's certain things we learned to do and certain things we didn't learn to do, and the partnership between the two of us has really been phenomenal. Well, I know Methods is gonna love hearing that when this video comes out. It's a great testimonial for that. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but the methods in Chicago, the location that you work with, and I know you work a lot with Don, you guys have been friends a lot. A lot of this is kind of turnkey operation. If they'll set up in the facility themselves, make sure it's working, then get it out here and make sure it's working for you as well. So it's not, you know, it's not sitting here for months or years on end still trying to be put together. No. So one of the nice things is methods has a big enough showroom and a big enough technical center here in Illinois that they have been able to lay out, build, run off, tune in, and perfect everything on their floor before it ever came to ours. Right. We hand loaded the bolt machines for about five months here, and they built this cell on our floor. It was a time constraint. We've done it so much with them now, we know what we're doing. It's not a worry. We wanted the cell in production faster, so we gave up a couple little things. Right. But methods, the service has been phenomenal, right? We'll call Methods and say we got a problem, there'll be a guy here in an hour and a half. We've got, you know, they know our stuff in and out so well. Well, you beat me to my next question, which was, how is the service? Which you've already said is great. So not only are you a great engineer and manufacturer, you're a mind reader too, which is fantastic. So everybody knows something's gonna break, right? It's a machine. Sure. The problem is, now the question is, great, you sold it to me. How are we going to service it? So one year we were doing one and a half, two cells at a time in the shop here. 
and we made a deal with them that we wanted a service tech on our floor for that year. And they put a methods individual in our building for a year within the contract. I mean, obviously, we worked it all out and everything, and we had an on-site guy for a year wow. to make sure that everything was good. Wow. If you're building that much automation and you're building that many cells together, you almost have to have a employee on your site for that. Yeah, and, and I'm glad that they and did. And the willingness of methods to do that, and by the way, they suggested it. It wasn't our idea. They offered and suggested, hey, we should do this to support you better. You know, Methods mentioned something to me recently, and you just kind of conveyed that to me, is that it's a very family-oriented environment internally within the Methods organization, but also it seems like a lot of customers like yourself are also friends as if you're part of the family of the yes. Methods organization. So them offering that to you, while an incredible offer somewhat doesn't surprise me either because that's the nature of the Methods family is to make sure you're taken care of. Knowing that it's a family company and knowing that's the way they treat us and that's the way we treat them as two families working together has been phenomenal. I love it. I absolutely love this kind of a story. So guys out there who are paying attention to this video right now, Dave is incredible, DRG. Dr. Guns, I kind of like that. DRG Manufacturing uh, now, DRG yeah. Manufacturing. Um, let's remember this. Some key points I want you guys to take away from what I've learned from Dave and this relationship with, from, with Methods. I want you guys to learn, let's not fear automation. Dave is continually hiring people that go along with automation. It's removing the monotony of the little things that we don't want to do every day. It's growing the way business is done from those tedious things. Let's figure out how to get qualified people into these positions to do more with the same amount of machines or even more machines as we grow. So you have to be willing to train them. You have to be willing to start them out and grow them up. You know, they got to learn three or four years over time. You got to build a uh, apprenticeship program. You got to teach them robots. You got to partner with methods to be able to come in and have them teach our guys robots and teach us all that kind of stuff. Obviously, the scariest thing in the world is the first robot. Especially the industrial robot, not a cobot, right? Right. So a cobot, you just kind of grab, you move over, you say pick up here, and he does his thing. An industrial robot with a pendant, with an HMI, with a taptic interface, with all that kind of stuff, the guys are like, what do I do with this control that looks like DOS? You know, it's on an iPhone, it's not that kind of stuff. Methods, Fanic, the whole group has been really, really awesome in working with our guys and making sure that we have accountability and sell leads on our side that take over this as their project and follow it all the way through. You know, robot changes apart on every like 42 seconds on this cell, okay? So the human doesn't have to do that anymore. I think I would have arthritis issues if I had to change all of these parts over every 42 seconds. You, I can guarantee you this, you're getting your steps in. <laughs> you get your steps in, <laughs> right? that's for sure. So Dave, after talking about all of this automation, all of these parts that you're making, I am absolutely sure that our global audience out there is going to be curious to know how they can get in touch with you. So what are the best ways to find you? Email, phone number, personal home address. You know? So if you want to email me, it's Dave at drgmanufacturing.com. If you want to check out our drgmanufacturing.com website, it's kind of just an overview of all the stuff we have and our capabilities. If you want to purchase our products, we started a distributor company called White Label Armory. Wow. So it's whitelabelarmory.com. We'll allow you to purchase a lot of the DRG manufacturing manufactured products and a couple things that we buy and sell as a distributorship. But that'll give you a real insight into the breadth of products that we truly do manufacture in-house under one roof. Oh, fantastic. Well, Dave, you are amazing. I really appreciate you allowing MTD to come in, share this amazing story with what you're doing right now. Thank you for you know being exactly who you are, growing this company, giving people a chance, and being such a forward-thinking person and sharing that story with our global audience. Anytime.